So here is my little uh, Dr. Frankenstein zinc plating uh, establishment. <clears throat> I'm really pleased with this thing. This is the kind of stuff I start with, right? Very used parts that I buy on eBay, that I bought on eBay. This one is bent on top of it. That's a kickstand for the XR500. And uh, using the zinc plating kit I bought from Caswell, that's the kind of stuff I get. Now, you know, this is the... Uh, look at that. It was in the same same condition, really, as this thing. Everything just comes out so neat and so beautiful and uh, so protected, right? I don't need to do any painting or anything. This is just perfect. Okay, the Kickstarter. I had to, to do the Kickstarter lever in uh, two goes, like the bottom half first and the top half afterwards, because my bucket is not big enough. The bolts of the... Uh, the front forks and you know small bits and pieces that usually get so gritty and dirty you get the little springs it's just wonderful you know all the parts just come out and us even even the cables you know usually it's really hard to get those things clean uh, this this part here and here also on this side right and it all comes out so nice and neat right this piece obviously is aluminium so you don't want to touch it uh, well it doesn't zinc plate anyway Anyway, so here's, here's the way this thing works. Uh, I've got a bucket here with this cleaner thing. And it's just like, a, this is supplied by the by Caswell. So it's a solution that's getting pretty dirty now because it's been in intense use. So one bucket to clean the parts <coughs> and another one with the, um, the zinc solution. This one's getting quite dirty also. Of course, the anode here uh, and a piece of copper tubing I bought at the hardware shop flatten on the side so it doesn't roll and uh, I use a very simply a, a battery charger now interestingly this is a 220 volt battery charger outputting 12 volts and I've got it connected to a to a transformer from 110 to, to 20 because of course this is European and I'm, I now live in America so this comes out here I got the plus connected to an old headlight from a 1975 Jaguar it's a, I think it's 21, 50, 50 watts or something like this, so I can vary the amperage I can put through. And then the plus goes to my anode, and my things in here get plated. And that's that's about it, you know. It's pretty crude, and I don't get it perfectly right every time, because I don't have very much control over the amperage. But uh, it's working pretty good. At the back here, I've got a bit of an acid pickle with a 5% muriatic acid mixture. I dip my parts uh, after I've brushed them and before I clean them. Of course, this is very dangerous, so uh, children have to stay away wearing gloves. And my gloves are here, and uh, my homemade apron that's well well used now to avoid getting splashes all over the place. And uh, this is working really really well. So I would happily re recommend this. It was not cheap to buy, but you know, given the kind of result. And knowing that this is going to be lasting because it's actual metal plated, it's just uh, it's just fantastic. I'm having fun. I hope you will.